great Friday, ha, November 13th, 2020. Some people would make a big deal of it being Friday the 13th, saying, ooh, no bad things happen. But mm -mm, we are walking, we're living in the favor of the Lord. Surely goodness and mercy shall chase us down all the rest of the days, hours, moments of our life. And we will dwell in the house of the Lord. That means the presence of the Lord is with you wherever you are day to day. And we are in the second chapter of Hebrews. I don't know if you're going through anything right now. A lot of us are going through a lot. But we know that we can trust the Lord and we can believe his word. Lord had me make this mask early this morning, four o'clock in the morning. Mm -hmm. Because we have lots of tests, trials, and tribulations, but the Lord is right there with us so that we could just rely on his faithfulness. In Psalms 13, we would have gone to this today. The last two verses, but I have trusted in thy mercy. My heart shall rejoice in thy salvation. And because of that, I will sing unto the Lord. And because he hath dealt bountifully with me, I will continually, continually, day to day, praise him forevermore. And in Hebrews, the second chapter, the last verse, there's a promise. And Speaking of Jesus Christ, our Lord, what he does for us when we are in our trials or temptations, when we are like, oh my goodness, I want to give up and this is just too much for me. Well, we just finished hearing a song with my class. John Legend was on the piano and he was raised in the church for some of you all who knew him or know his history, his biography. He... John Stevens, John Legend, graduated magna cum laude, number one, I believe in University of Pennsylvania. He was accepted into Harvard, and he was homeschooled. Very smart young man. Well, guess what? He sang a song because he was raised in the church, and it was, I Won't Complain. Can we sing that song in our heart today? No matter what happens to us, we can rely and trust and believe the Lord and his promises. Because in the second chapter of Hebrews, the last verse, it says, For in that he himself, Jesus Christ, has suffered, being tempted. He knows about all the emotions, the whole gamut. But he is able to succor. Succor means to help, to aid, to assist his children, his people, the believers. He's able to come alongside and be with us in that situation. He is an ever-present help in the time of need. He is right there. Emmanuel, he is with us. We don't have to wait till next month to sing that song. Mm -mm. And he will deliver us. He will give us strength. He will cheer us. He will be our joy. So when we go to Psalms 43, verse 5, and we ask ourselves, hmm, why am I blue? Why am I feeling a little down or had a hiccup in my heart? You ask the question, why art thou cast down on my soul? Why art thou disquieted within me? No, hope thou in God, for we shall yet praise him. He is the health. He is our sustenance. He is our joy. He is our strength. He is our enabler. He is our blessings. He is our uh, kick. He is the pep in our step. He is everything. And it will show in our countenance. It will show in everything we do. So in Psalm 73, there was someone who was like, mm -mm. his name was Asaph. And he was like, why is this happening? The ungodly, it seemed like they prosper in their way. They're blessed. They have all the resources and they get to do this and that. But mm -mm. we will declare this, verse 26, Psalm 73. Our flesh, our heart, yeah, they might fail. They might get that hiccup sometimes. We might fall into self-pity. But God is the strength. He is the stabilizing force of our heart, our, of our emotions, of our mindset, our mentality. And he's our portion, our promise, our inheritance forever. So then we'll be able to look back in retrospect. Verse 28, it was good for me 
to draw near to God because I have put my trust in the Lord God that I may declare all thy works. So don't, don't let one of your trials be wasted because it's building your resilience, your perseverance, your reliance on the Lord, and we'll be able to bless the Lord, O oh, our soul, and all that is within us. We'll be able to, to share the testimony that the Lord satisfies our mouth, our life with good things, and our youth, our resilience is renewed like the eagles. And you know that Psalms 103 because there are so benefits, so many benefits of serving the Lord every day. Have a wonderful Friday beginning of this weekend and know that God has a plan for each, for each one of his children.